You know, I'm, my mind's going to a, a veering off a little bit into the unknown, a, a bit into the ineffable now is with, if we go a layer deeper and think about something like your, your vibration or your aura, like that sort of concept and how all this kind of interplays into that. H how do you think about that? And like, what's the integration there of like how you live your life versus how your, you know, vibration, your frequency and, and your aura kind of comes about as a result of that. And then how that sort of shapes reality going forward. Like how, what do you make of, mm. sort of all that sort of thought space? Yeah, man. I mean, it, we hear all the, so basically like we have the different chakra system is what I think about and how a lot of us just coming to mind right now, at least in how I see society is we're very detached from our root in that sacral region. We tend to be so heady with everything, right? I was this guy too back in the day. And what I mean by this is, is we tend to think more logically or just like think, think, think versus feel, feel, feel. And so going off of that, I find we can manifest and actually create the reality we want by feeling more versus thinking more. And this is very apparent with the men I work with is we're very hard driving, business oriented, success driven. All that's great. Super powerful. Keep working towards that. But if you aren't feeling into the emotions of where you want to go in life, success is bullshit. It doesn't mean anything if you aren't happy. And happiness starts with the feeling deep in the sacral region. And so, uh, you know, working deeply, even just sort of like sexual energy, you know, if we connect back to our root and not be so like indoctrinated into a system, you know, unfortunately, religion's been skewed over the years, too. And I'm, you know, I, I identify as a Christian in different ways, but I think religion's been skewed over the years as well. Over the past 200, 300 years, it's been skewed in a way where we're, we've been told like masturbation is really bad or just touching yourself and just like connecting to that area is bad. And, you know, there's lust associated with that. And we've been, you know, at a very young age, the majority of us into that system of Catholicism and whatever it may be with Christianity, we've been told that's bad to connect down to there. But it's not necessarily that cultivating that sexual energy is bad, for example. It's, it's, the association of pornography today that's associated with it, or maybe a lustful mindset with it, or something along those lines can detach us from that because it's going back to the head. It's going less out of the feeling of that. So, you know, I bring that up just for example, because that's one thing I've been working on over the past years. How do I cultivate this sexual energy while practicing semen retention, while doing so without pornography or a screen, and just really feeling into that and getting deep into that intuition, deeper area of our body? Because sexual energy is creative energy. It really is. You're creating another life source energy through sexual energy when two partners come together. And so, you know, you can work on this before you get into an intimate relationship and, you know, whatever. I can go down a whole track with that. But my whole point is, I think going off of what you asked about, your frequency affects what you can achieve in life. And that's the law of attraction. Wherever your mindset is at, you're going to start bringing and feeding that energy in. So if you're in a negative aspect of life and you're always, woe is me. And, you know, the world's out to get me and fuck this, fuck that, all that negative stuff, you're going to feed more of that energy because that's where the energy's going, right? But if you're in a mindset of like, oh, I'm grateful for what I have, even though I don't have the best, I'm very grateful for this. I'm grateful for being able to have a car. I'm grateful for being able to have two legs that work. Uh, I'm grateful to be even able to wake up this morning and, you know, even just open my eyes, even though I'm not the most energized or ambitious right now, I'm grateful for that. That attitude of gratitude, going back to that, is what's going to feed more of that in your life. And I, I've been really cultivating that lately is being careful with my, my lingo, my words, because words have so much power. Um, and all this affects your frequency. Like, Case, you've probably been in a room with people and you're just like, I don't like the energy in this room. Like, I feel like the people talking and mingling, there's, there's an energy there. It's not necessarily the people themselves and what they're saying or how they're looking. It's just like there's an energy currency in there that doesn't feel right. Then you may walk in a room or uh, you may go to like a sound healing ceremony or something that's cool with a yoga practice. And all these people are talking and mingling. And you're just like, whoa, I can feel magnified right now. This is amazing. Or going to a retreat and everyone's in that like just heart space that you feel is magnifying their aura.